concerns were raised by the head of Ofsted, Sir Michael Wilshaw, in a letter to Education Secretary Nicky Morgan, detailing the results of a crackdown on illegal schools uh, which began earlier this year. The letter made reference to 100 suspected schools with thousands more children than the government previously thought at risk of harm and indoctrination, as well as dangers from unsafe premises. We've learned that around a quarter of these 100 schools are based in the capital, with the majority of the establishments thought to be Islamic or Jewish faith schools. Uh, specific risks detailed by the Ofsted chief included fire hazards, unhygienic premises and staff or volunteers who had not been properly checked or cleared to work with children. Hackney, of course, has had its own problems with illegal schools in the past, uh, with the Department for Education and Ofsted acknowledging uh, that there had been as many as 20 illegal faith schools in the Stamford Hill area of the borough, not offering a broad enough education by government standards. Well, earlier on, we were joined by Jay Harmon from the British Humanist Association, who have done work on this matter in the past. Yeah, so this is the third time that Sir Michael Walshaw, the Chief Inspector of Ofsted, has written to the Education Secretary um, to raise his concerns about the number of illegal schools, and specifically illegal religious schools that are operating in Britain. Um, he's said that his inspectors have gone into a number of premises over the last few months, uh, and they've found all sorts of, of quite shocking things, appalling conditions, very narrow curriculum, um, and really a complete lack of oversight and accountability in these schools. How do we go about tackling uh, the problems that in arise from these sorts of schools? Uh, well, more of the same. I mean, there's, there's a history of inaction uh, when it comes to tackling unregistered schools, but now it seems as though the Department for Education and Ofsted are willing to crack down on them. So Ofsted needs to continue investigating. The Department for Education needs to continue supporting them to do that. And when they do find instances of illegal schools, they need to shut them down and find alternative education and places for these kids. What can happen in reference to these faith schools? Now, Hackney itself has uh, many of these faith schools operating in the area. Um, how do we tackle these schools in particular? Um, well, along similar lines. I mean, obviously, uh, there are communities in this country that, that would rather send their... Um, children to specific religious schools, but I think they need to be encouraged uh, to integrate uh, and to send their children to schools with people from all faiths and none, uh, to learn from and with those different children, uh, and that can only be for the benefit not only of those communities but for society as a whole. In terms of uh, faith, lots of people want to celebrate their faith, to learn about their faith in more detail. Um, is there not a place for these faith schools in, the, uh, in, in London and the United Kingdom? Uh, absolutely not. I mean, there's certainly not a, a place for illegal faith schools, um, but faith schools more generally, I don't think there is. Uh, religious education is very important. We think that children need to learn about other people's beliefs, whether they're religious or not. Uh, they need to know how they live their lives, uh, how they tackle big issues of morality and purpose, uh, and religious education is important for that. What is not important uh, is teaching children just one belief. Um, not being inclusive in the teaching of religious education, not allowing children to make up their minds for themselves before they can confidently hold opinions about these big matters for themselves. Uh, and we think faith schools undermine that goal. Well, we put these concerns to Hackney Council and they sent us the following statement. Our concerns about unregistered schools date back many years. We've been working for, with the Department for Education and Ofsted to try and engage with them, ensuring they provide the education and care to which all our children have the right. Now, they also added that they felt that the council's powers in these situations are very limited, something which the Department for Education seemed to refute, saying that they have clear power to take action where there are concerns. And indeed, they sent us a statement in reference to today's story, saying, we have given new resources to Ofsted to investigate unregistered schools and prepare case files for prosecution by the Crown Prosecution Service. We have consulted on new measures to protect children in out-of-school settings, offering intensive education. They've also given Ofsted further powers to help try and uh, further these prosecutions of these illegal schools in the future.